Today is October 6, 2019, and I'm proud to say that I've got a new version of Fishmonger updated. It's version 2.036. Um, hopefully by the time this video goes live, it'll be up on the website available for download. I've added a couple of new features uh, to Fishmonger here. I've added the option to auto hearth. I've also changed around the way the bait can be applied and what I've called the simple bait method and two other variable timers, basically a variable cast timer, which will vary the time in between you catch uh, for it to cast and then a variable catch timer after Fishmonger detects the fish, how long until it actually loots it. It's all those little things that make you appear a little bit more human and less robotic. The first thing I'm going to go over is the auto hearth function. You can see it's on the main screen here uh, right next to do nothing, log out, exit and close. It's a little checkbox. Um, it's only active when exit and close or log out are selected. If you have do nothing on, it won't hearth you. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to click on log out. I'm going to enable hearth and I'm going to have my fish quantity on one. So a fishmonger should fish one time and then basically it's going to automatically hearth me out. Now I actually don't want to leave this spot, so I'm going to interrupt that just by jumping. Um, please note, most of the time for a fishmonger, I block the input on the keyboard and mouse while it's moving and doing its thing so that the user doesn't create any problems, but I actually don't have that enabled for the hearth function. So if you accidentally bump the keyboard or something happens while it's trying to hearth, it will stop that function. And I did that mainly because I didn't want people to accidentally have an issue where they use their hearthstone and they didn't mean to because it's not a 60 minute cooldown timer, which sucks. So let me interrupt this. Second thing I'm gonna go over is the simple bait method. If you go to the advanced options here, um, you'll notice in the bait and cast tab, there's a new button here. It says use simple bait method. What this means is that you want to have your fishing skill set to the number one key on the keyboard, your fishing pole set to the number two key, and then whatever lure you want to use, it doesn't matter whatever lure you want to use, put it to the number three. With this selected, all right, what will happen is instead of Fishmonger typing all the commands out into the computer, it will actually just send the number three, the number two, and the number one in succession to apply the lure, apply it to the pole, and then basically start fishing. This was done because there was a lot of international clients that were having trouble uh, using the baits that I just put in there for Fishmonger. Basically, if you weren't using the U.S. keyboard or you weren't using the U.S. client, it wasn't working for you. So if you're running a different kind of client other than U.S., this should solve that for you. I'm going to quickly demonstrate that here. I'm going to use my last shiny bobble. So I'm going to exit out of here and then basically start fishing. As you can see, it used the shiny bobble, put it on the pole, and it's going to start fishing the one fish. And of course, it did this without typing anything into the computer. So again, when you use the simple bait method, it doesn't matter if you have anything selected here. If this is on, it'll just apply whatever's on the number three spot. It doesn't matter which version of the lure application interval you use, whether it be the static version here or the variable loot timer here, um, it'll still apply using those parameters. I've also added a variable cast timer. Um, so in addition to the usual cast as soon as you're done looting here, which basically just tries to fish as fast as you possibly can, um, there's an option where you can wait between whatever interval of time you want um, after you catch to catch up to cast another fish so this will make it so again fishmonger will catch a fish and then instead of casting immediately if you don't want to be very repetitive you can wait a variable amount and it'll just pick a random number between uh, whatever time you put in there every single time you cast so if I put between 0 and 3 seconds it might cast 1 seconds it might cast 1.7 seconds and then 3 seconds and then 0.1 seconds it's completely variable so you just look like a human I'm actually gonna put this at between 0 and 5 seconds and I'll do a little bit of fishing fish quantity of 5 so this will apply right after it catches and it moves the mouse back down to its normal location. That's where the timer starts. One, two, three. So that was a three second time there before it casted. Or cast, I think it's cast is the word I'm looking for. Not casted. One, two, three, four, five. So that was five seconds there, so you can see the delay. It's going to randomly pick a number between those two numbers for you. So just a quick note uh, about these variable timers. For instance, in the cast timer here, it says between zero and five seconds. It won't pick five numbers. It won't pick zero, one, two, three, four, five, which is actually six. Zero, one, two, three, four. Um, it'll actually pick a number between zero and 5.99, and it has a two-digit precision after the decimal point. So it might cast... Um, at 1.97 seconds and then 2.32 seconds and then 
0.17 seconds, so there's a huge number of possibilities for casting. I also have a timer here for what's known as the catch speed delay. Basically, after Fishmonger detects a fish, how long until it goes to get that fish? So for instance, just to demonstrate, if I put this at three and, well, three seconds, I'll do three and three, and I'll just put it on wait a bit before catching after a bobber strikes, what you'll actually notice is it will cast, it'll detect the splash, it'll wait three seconds before it goes to loot it, which is probably going to make me miss it, but what it also does is it allows me to uh, add variable numbers in there so the mouse isn't just catching exactly when it sees the splash. So let's do a countdown here. Splash, one two three should move as you can see fish got away which is fine i figured that as much i would actually recommend between like zero and one seconds because again it does round up so it's actually going to be between zero and 1.99 seconds two seconds should be fast enough even on a catch speed or an overall fishing speed here of two um, it'll still have enough time to go and catch the fish without missing it but it doesn't make it instant there's a little bit of a delay because as humans we're not perfect You can see the little bit of a delay there, and I'd love to count this out with a timer. You're just going to take my word on it that there is a little bit of a delay, and of course it did the cast delay there because we had the cast delay in. Um, these are things which will slow Fishmonger down. You're not going to be as efficient as you possibly could be, but it's also going to make you look a lot more like an actual human from the eyes of someone else, which is great. The variable cast timer, I think, is one of the best things because you can put that between, like, let's say, 2 and 10 seconds. So you can really make it so it waits a while after you catch a fish to cast again um, because a lot of people, like, they fish and they'll alt-tab and do something else. They're usually distracted and they have that delay to it. So basically, Fishmonger will now mimic that activity. And then when you first start Fishmonger for uh, new users, what it's actually going to do is automatically select WoW Classic as the default and it'll have the search and track index max set to 100 instead of 70. You gotta understand when Fishmonger first came out years ago it was for retail and there was only really one version of retail there was whatever the current version was and I always tried to match Fishmonger to work the best with that. Now that Classic is out it really does seem like a lot of people are asking for Fishmonger for Classic and not for the, the retail version that's the not classic version um, and everyone's always having trouble because they start a fishmonger and they're complaining it doesn't work it doesn't work and I'm like well it does you just have to change it to classic so now it's set up to default to classic and if you play retail you have to change it to retail so I figured I would just cater to the masses here so that's pretty much it those are the, the new things that I've got added for 2.036 um, I do want to continue to add a lot more things to fishmonger again that make it more variable or that uh, do things that just completely mimic um, a human um, and what they would do. And it's, you know, there's a huge, huge list. I'm certainly not like an AI programmer or anything like that, um, but I just think about, well, what would make sense to do and then try to implement uh, whatever I think would make sense. I'm always open for suggestions, so please, if you got any ideas, um, you know, send me an email, wildfishmonger at yahoo.com or make a comment in the video. Um, let me know what you want to see done next. Um, because I'm certainly I have no problem adding any beneficial features that I'm capable of adding. So that's it. This is uh, Fishmonger. I'm signing out. I gotta go over to Loch Modan and kill some more boars. It seems like I'm always killing boars somewhere. These fucking boars are all over my ass. So uh, until next time, this is Fishmonger signing out. Catch you on the flip side.